Yo, good morning everyone. It's your boy Shady C here. So, today I wanted to do this video on a topic that is uh, very fascinating to me as a wrestling fan. The Montreal Screwjob. Now before I get into what everyone says and thinks and feels and believes, what makes this unique for me is I'm one of the fans that actually got to watch it live on pay-per-view. I can remember like it was yesterday. I was rooting for Shawn Michaels, sitting there watching the show. And I remember, I thought it was just a regular submission. I didn't see anything wrong with it. I thought Brett gave up. I remember jumping up thinking, oh my gosh, Bret Hart just submitted in the sharpshooter. Wow. In the sharpshooter. And then my mom pointed out, she's like, I didn't see him shake his head or tap or anything. Um, so that's how that started. But um, I watch a lot of videos on it. And um, I, before you get in, before you ask, I have ne one thing I've never done is watch or listen to what Dave Meltzer has to say on the subject because he wasn't there. And he doesn't know anyone who's there. You know, he's, he's, he's a fan like me, basically, who got too much credit. But anyways, um, uh, I was watching uh, uh, Hall and Nash were talking about it separately now and they both said that they think it was a work now unlike me and dave Meltzer, they are best friends with Shawn michaels why would they think it was a work i'm sure sean's talked to talked to them about it since that day they probably had discussions about it what has sean said to them to lead them to believe that it was a work you gotta wonder now um People like the Sala Monster, and even one of my favorites, Jim Cornette, has said, if you think it's a work, you're an idiot. Well, apparently these two idiots know Shawn Michaels. They're, they're friends. They're tight. They're the clique. So it leads me to wonder, maybe it was a work. I mean, think about it. Bret Hart goes down there to WCW, and WCW was doing well at the time. <clears throat> I mean, they weren't. I mean, they were losing to Vince at that time on the ratings, but they were still doing well. They weren't doing bad. So it leads someone to wonder, Bret comes down there. If you notice, Bret Hart, people like to say Hall killed WCW. The NWO killed WCW. Bret comes down there, and within the next two years, they're out of business. What happened? Think about it. Brett heads down to WCW. Within the next two years, they went from a profitable company to being out of business. That's crazy. That'd be like McDonald's right now. They're making money. They're doing all right. In two years, they just, boom, go out of business. Normally, when companies go out of business like that, it takes longer than just two years. It's a slow process. It's a slow decline. You know, I mean, you can say, you know, maybe, wait, no, wait, this was 97. They were doing great in 97. I'm talking, WCW was doing phenomenal. They were doing great in 97. What am I talking about? I'm thinking 98, 99. Okay, so it was like four years. Some ways. Yeah, four years. Within four years, we're out of business. If, the, if, it was, if it was due to profit margins and things like that, it should take taken much longer than four years for them to go out of business. So, it leads me to believe that this was a work, a very well-planned work, a work that they're still holding on to, that um, Bret Hart and Vince McMahon set something up for Bret to go down there and mess with it. Oh, 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 and Sean Waltman, another member of the clique, said it was a work. How come, answer me this, if you don't believe it was a work, answer me one question. How come we got four different, wait, three different click members, sorry, saying it was a work? Why? Why? You know what I mean? They know, they know people. Why they say it's a work if it's not a work? What leads them to believe it's not a work? I mean, that it was a work is the question. Answer that, people. What do you think leads them to believe that it was a work? 
Anyways, if you agree with me, hit that like, subscribe, and share. If you don't agree with me, you're an idiot, but you can still hit like, subscribe, and share. Push comments down below. Let me know what you think about all this. Remember, fuck Dave Meltzer. I'm Shady C, and I'm always right.